Hey, hi, howdy, and hello, friends. It's Wiggity here with the farm that always makes me super hungry. Let's check in with Brupin. All right, it's Thursday, the 25th of the summer. Weather tomorrow. Ooh, we're going to have thunder and lightning. Yes, that's so great. It's one less day of having to worry about water, and that's fantastic. Fortune is ooh, very, very lucky today. We should do some... Um, mining for some ores and things like that. Just kind of get stocked up. Oh yeah, talking about um, fall time. We need to make sure that we have everything ready for the fall. <gasps> oh! Ooh. We have <laughs> this giant melon that's fantastic. I'll go ahead and get this screenshot and see what else we got on the farm today. <laughs> giant melon Awesome. I got some tea. Got to take care of that. A little bit of honey. Um, it's not looking like we have anything on the shores or things like that. Should probably clear up some wood. Yeah, see, we can actually add a few more. Like three sprinklers. They won't be full sprinklers. And even a couple more for this row. But I, I kind of feel like that's... If I can't do a full square, it's kind of a waste of my resources right now. So I think that's plenty for now. Maybe one. I don't know. I'll think about the, that before fall time. We'll see how much stuff we have. Plenty of stuff to do for sure, though. I've got to get some watering going. We're going to harvest all these and see how much we actually have. Oh, what's in the mail? Lily said that's the recipe for chowder. Nice. And George wants a hot pepper. <laughs> okay, George. Um, I do believe I'm at level 9. We're pretty close to hitting level 10 of farming. So I'm just going to keep stocking up on all of the good stuff until that point. Ooh. I am definitely going to chop this giant melon though. As much as I would love to save it for like decorative purposes, it's a good luck day so we should get like some extra from it. How many melons will this melon give us? Ooh, 20. That's great. Here you go, Yumyun. For you. I want to grab these. We're going to get all of our watering going. The chickens should be out doing their chickeny things, you know, like, like chickens do. We have this big patch. I'm still going to be using it next season, so I'm going to fill it up with wheat because um, then I will be able to um, harvest wheat on the first day of fall right there but today would be the last day to, to plant that in order to get it to that point i just want to not do too much work when it comes to um hoeing and stuff since we're going to have to do a ton of watering on the first day okie dokie at the chicken where's my other chicken <laughs> it looks like a seed but that's a chicken right there at the other chicken Fish are doing great. That's doing great. That's doing great. We do have to water this because I'm going to fill it up. Okay, everything's all watered. We're going to throw a few things in. I am going to keep stocking up because we haven't hit that level um, level up yet. I don't think so. I'll have to check. No, we didn't get it with all of the sunflowers and the melons, but we'll probably be able to get that here soon. I'm gonna drop these off in here for when we make some like stuff and things. <laughs> Ooh, we need to get some tuna fish really badly. It is a really good luck day, so I could try to catch some tuna. And maybe um, get a couple of treasure chests. That would be good. Instead of our regular chores. But I gotta go pick up um, an apple tree. And bring George a hot pepper. Let's, let's do some of these quests while we're at it. Hot pepper for George. A melon for Demetrius. And a pale ale for Pam. I could totally do that. Yeah, I think that's a that's a good plan. I don't want to spend money upgrading anything today just because I need to have money ready for this upcoming season.
I can always just catch tuna fish um, at the at my house, but um, yeah, I don't know why I'm not doing that. I guess not. Here's my first bones. That's nice. Hey, Alex. How's it going? Yeah, super fit. I'm swole. Let's get um, this right here. No trash. Trash check? No trash. How about you? A uh, broken CD. Hey, that works for me. A radish for Maru. I did not plant any radish. Okay, we gotta grab some seeds. Not a whole lot. Just some wheat seeds. Uh, about 80. And then we will get a apple sapling. Now we can get the pomegranate sappy sapling, but I'm going to wait until Saturday. If I don't, or no, tomorrow. We're going to check the, tr the cave tomorrow. If I don't have a pomegranate in, then we'll pick up a pomegranate sapling tomorrow. I just, I need some money, man. Like so bad. <laughs> hey, Elliot. Oh, sorry about that. It's not my fault. <laughs> Do you really want Pierre to cook dinner? Can he cook dinner? That's a question. Oh, hey, Evelyn. Where is George? We want some money. So, can't talk right here. Are you eating something? Your favorite, it's over there. <laughs> Saying his favorite program is on. All right, took you long enough. You literally asked me about it just this morning. Y'all, you grump. What a grumpy Gus. Um, I wonder, is Pam in Georgia Mart right now? Yeah, she's probably in Georgia Mart. Drop this um, melon off to Demetrius. He'll probably be up in the, the place where he does the things and the science, the science stuff place. <laughs> I just want my money. Let's go to Georgia Mart and talk to Miss Pamalama. Hey, Pamalama. Oh, okay. Cool, thanks for uh, sharing. We're at six hearts with Pam, sweet. I'm gonna save my money in my pockets for just a little bit. I know it's stressful to see that little blink up there, but if I wait, then if I pass out, I won't lose money from passing out. If I don't collect the money. Does that make sense? Makes sense to me. Hi, Linus. We need to chat with Demetrius. Wait, where's Demetrius? It's Thursday, it's Thursday. What is he doing? Did I miss him on his way to the fountain? Demetrius! I just want to throw a melon at you. Oh well. Let's go fishing. See if we can catch a tuna. And then I'll figure out where Demetrius is later. I don't have much time. Tuna goes away at 7, so... Sooner I take care of that, the better. Our first tuna, and it's a gold star. I just need one more, and we can call it good. we go. Now we have all the tunas we need. We're gonna get out of here, plant these seeds, but first do a quick little check in the secret woods, see if we have any fiddlehead ferns, head on home, and then go from there. I can't really like do any chopping of the stumps today because I don't have my wood axe on me right now, but that's okay. Now my pockets are very full. It's okay. I'll just toss something if I need to. Or drink this Joja Cola. Ooh, perfect. A fiddlehead fern. Just what I was looking for. Squish that. Squish that. Squish you. Cool. We have enough fiddlehead ferns to finish the medicine bundle. Okay, let's go ahead and plant all these wheats real quick. Uh, 
Didn't get around to giving Demetrius this melon. That's totally fine. Toss, toss, and flounder. Oh, and these mushrooms. Now, with um, this apple, I haven't really decided like on the perfect place for it. I would like to have all my fruit trees over where the greenhouse is right now. But for now, we're just going to plant this guy right there. Felt like that would be a good enough spot. My errands and stuff took a little bit longer than I was anticipating. It's fine. Got some important things taken care of today. Ooh, we could definitely make um, a few more preserve jars. Anytime we can make some more processors is good. Ooh, that wasn't smart. <laughs> I need that wood really badly. I don't want to stray too far away from home because I don't think I leveled up today. So I don't want to stay out too late and not have enough energy to do the things I want to do tomorrow. Definitely need to chop some more trees. Yeah. Off to bed. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. Before bed. Um, what do we want? I guess we'll finish these. <laughs> oh, I got it just in time. <laughs> uh, yay me. Cool. Okie dokie, it is the 26th day of summer and it's a stormy day. Oh, yay. Always a good day on a stormy day. Hooray, hooray. Can every day be stormy, please? It's also Friday, which is good. We gotta check on some stuff. Sunny tomorrow. Bleh. <laughs> and, uh, neutral luck. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That's fine. It's fine. Yeah, lots of stuff is ready. Let's check this out. Hello, screen. What you got for me today? Mm, we've got another resin, two resins, plenty of stuff, so we can move those down. Um, these are starting to grow along really nicely, so I need to start making some tappers for those. I can harvest all of those blueberries. I really need some wood, so we're going to spend today chopping some wood. Ooh, they're going to ask me for something. So let's get that all settled and squared away. I only have 30 coffee, so I think I'm going to um, make a few more. Oh, it's in the mail. New rods. Oh, yeah, because we leveled up. So we should be able to buy that rod. Well, I mean, can't financially afford to buy the new rod. But when we need to, we'll be able to. Me chicky chickies. Chicky chickies. Oh, I need to make some mayonnaise machines. That would be very beneficial. All right. Now, before I go and harvest all that stuff, I'm going to chop a bunch of trees down by the edge. Like these pine trees are getting a little bit out of hand. I need to clear this area up so we have space because I know crates can show up here and I want to make sure that they have the space for it. And it is Friday, so we're going to check the traveling cart and we're also going to check the cave today to see if we got any apples or pomegranates. Mostly want pomegranates, that's what I want the most. get rid of this. I feel like it might be blocking the trees. I need to get um, a rare seed. Maybe more if I'm lucky. I could wait for Sunday, but I need at least to have at least two because we need one for a bundle because we haven't found an ancient fruit seed yet. And then we'll need one to get a star drop. And no pomegranates. Okay. So we're going to have to buy a pomegranate tree today. And I think that was the last harvest of blueberries. So I'm going to save like 25 in here. I always like to have a few for, you know, if I need them for anything. Okay, what am I doing? What am I doing? Gotta go to town. Gotta pick up that thing. We gotta sell these. And then we'll swoop around, check the traveling cart. 
and then go from there. I don't think there's any fishing I want to do today. Nah. I don't think I'm going to catch the octopus till next year. That's all good. But we have all the summer, important summer fishing that we need to do. Oh, I need to check with my fish and see what they wanted. And grab these tea too. I can't believe I forgot those. Oh, and we can actually start making tea. I gotta decide if I want to start turning these into tea. Um, because they only take three hours to make. Oh, that was dangerous. Or, um, if we want to turn them into pickle tea. Two emeralds. I mean, they have expensive taste. I gotta keep an eye out for some emeralds for these. Okay, let's go do a sell. Let's go do a buy. And, uh, get that stuff taken care of. All right, we can get some money from these. Hello, 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 everyone. Please, sir, buy all of my blueberries. Oh, <laughs> we got the cow poke. Uh, and then we need to buy um a pomegranate tree. Yeah, I didn't want to. It's what I wanted the cave, but it is what it is. And it's over with now, so <laughs> there's that. Ooh, crusty bread. Nice. Okay, check with a traveling cart. It's better to do that earlier than later because the sooner you can get it if you need to buy something expensive, then um, you can see if you can muster up some cash and have time to hit some shops. Things like that. Oh my goodness gracious, that lightning is going off today. Hey, Mabel. Da, 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 cranberries, woodpath, lobster bisque, radish seeds. 700 gold for a bug meat. Yeah, that makes sense. And 900 gold for one piece of bait. <laughs> oh, honey, no. Oh, we got one rare seed. I'm hoping that she sells some more on, on uh, Sunday. She'll sell at least one more, so I need at least one more. As rare seeds is her like seasonal item and she should be selling it every single day uh, during the summertime. So let's go plop this pomegranate seed sapling down, drop some stuff off. What should I do? Should I do more coffee? That's a question. Or should we make our first round of tea? I've got 60 tea leaves. Um, We'll do coffee. I'll do coffee till I can't do coffee anymore. <laughs> And then I want to plop this down right here. There we go. That's perfect. It should grow. They have to be a certain amount away from each other, but it's okay that the lightning rod is right there. I think. I'll move it at tomorrow anyways, just in case. Oh, goodness. Stop it. Why do I have my seal axe with me? I don't know, but whatever. Da, 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 da. Medicine bundle is a harvestal? Yeah, wild medicine. Flop, flop, and some hops. Thank you. I actually don't know what this one is. <gasps> Ooh, sweet, two cookout kits. That's perfect. I'm going to save those for when we have a huge stock up of fish so we can start making sashimi instead of salmon berries. That's gonna be smart. Hey, Linus. How's it going? Here, have a salmon berry. Yeah. Anytime. We need to... I forgot. I was going to go say hi to Demetrius. There he is. Hey, Robin. Here, Robin, take this. Yeah. Can you move, please, though? Thanks. Hi, Demetrius. Um, This melon is something you requested. Yeah. And money for me. 550, not bad. And I need iron, like desperately. So today is going to be ironing day. <laughs> Can I do some ironing? Is that a thing? Take care of some wrinkles with our ironing. And hit level 41 quite a few times. Just until, ooh, perfect, look at that. Boy, am I glad I brought my bombs today. How much iron is that? Ah, oh, I'm going to immediately go up, craft some iron bars with the two coal that I have. 
And then hopefully we get some dust sprites too. And then if I see ladders, I'll take the ladders so we can look for a few more dust sprites. Oh my gosh. I think the ladder is telling me something. They're like, hey, you should you should go down there. <laughs> Perfect. Still need a ton more coal, but we're doing really good on iron. So maybe we'll do some, um, yeah, some monstery levels. an emerald please yes now we have two emeralds for our rainbow trout okay get out of here drop some stuff off and we'll head back home i don't think i have the time to run and throw these into the fish pond i might but just enough time for that there we go okay so they're happy Ooh. I would make something in place of that coffee, but I just don't have the time, so it's off to bed for me. Ooh, that was a full day. <gasps> oh, I did level up in farming. What was it that I harvested today? But artisan is what we're going to go with. Absolutely. Yeah. And we leveled up in mining too. Fantastic. Oh, wait, I pet my chickens. Petting your chickens, I forget. I'm like, no, because I've already got my experience points from the blueberries. But we pet chickens and, you know, got eggs and stuff. And so petting the chickens boosted us up today, which is fantastic. Thank you, chickens. Alrighty, it is Saturday, the 27th. Oh, and last night we just leveled up to level 10. So that means all of the artisan goods that I've been hoarding, now is the time to sell it. I don't need to go to Pierre's to sell it because I don't really need to buy anything from him today. Um, and I can think of anyways. Weather for tomorrow. Oh, it'll be sunny because we're going to have the Dance of the Moonlight jellies. Also means everything's going to be closed tomorrow. <laughs> Ugh. So there's like no chance of me catching that crimson fish because Willie is closed today and he'll be closed tomorrow. And we can't even fish there tomorrow anyways. That's today. Okay. Let's go ahead and check out, yay, the farm. Alrighty, we've got some stuff ready. Got a couple, uh, like a tappy tapper thing to do right there. Um, All of these are ready, so I'm going to see if I can build 10 tappers today for that. We'll probably switch that out for something else. Um, I know tea only takes three hours, so I think we're going to switch this out for tea, turn them over a few times and sell all the stuff. I need to take care of the chickens. Those are all ready. That's the last round. Ooh, exciting. Lots of stuff to do. But for the most part, it's going to be sticking around to the farm today because it's going to be a day for taking care of some stuff and getting us prepared for this upcoming season change. I'm going to get some tea started first. We need to get enough copper for making all the tappers that I need, so I'm going to go make sure that we get a round going at the uh, mines. Now, tea with tea leaves, the reason why I'm going to be making teas is because I kind of want to sell them now. I can use my preserve jars that I have for more higher value items since I, I only have so many. But if I keep on turning the tea over every three hours, then we'll be able to make a decent profit from those today. Oh, actually, before we water everything, let's go ahead and take care of these animals. Get them all happy and going. Hey, chicky chickies. They'll be giving us large eggs here pretty soon. We gotta make ourselves a, a mayonnaise machine. Harvest all of these. Now I can't turn this soil into anything else before 
next season, but we're gonna be able to make quite a few seeds. I'm gonna try and save some gold star quality grapes for maybe Vincent, I don't know, maybe. And then today we're gonna make our tea fence too. And then I'll probably have to chop some wood today too, just to um, get our levels to where they need to be for um, for making enough tea saplings to make a fence. So even though selling tea saplings to make money is a great thing to do, um, I'm thinking of actually growing some for next season because they don't take much effort and they um, don't take any watering. So the more tea saplings that we can grow in this farm, the probably the better, honestly. Now I am watering this wheat because um, if I water it now, I think I'll be able to have it harvested on the first day. I probably won't have to do it tomorrow, but on the first day of fall, it would be nice if I was able to have everything harvested and ready. Then I can turn these over so for some more wheat. I think I'm going to grow even bigger patches of wheat and just not water them like ever and let the rain do its thing, right? Okay, everything's watered. I think there was a, yeah, a tappy tapper. I'm gonna grab that. We can tap a few more trees here. So we'll just, um, we'll grab all of the harvestable stuff and just like sell them as we get them, all of the, these. It's gonna be time to start getting some more copper. And that was the last of mine. And at 3.30, we should be able to make another round of tea is great. It's very, very important that we get the tappers going because the more oak resin, the better. And then we'll chop some trees down as I go. Okay, 6.30 is when it'll be ready next. Good to know. If you pay attention to the time, I'll be able to turn all this tea, well not all this tea, but a good amount of this tea over today. So with tea, pickles are a higher value, but um, tea itself is a higher gold per minute of the time it takes to process it. So that's why I'm processing all of my tea leaves into actual tea instead of pickles, because I would rather be making like melon jelly or strawberry jelly since those are worth a lot more than pickled tea. And since I'm gonna be around the farm today, it's definitely worth it to be turning those all into tea since I'm here anyways. Otherwise, if I was gonna be away from the farm all day, it wouldn't be worth it to turn it into tea for me. Perfect, 10 tappers. Now we just need a whole bunch more wood so we can make those tea saplings for a fence. Hopefully the wood on the farm will be enough. Oh my gosh, we're almost going to be out of salmon very soon. That's great. <laughs> what was I going to move on to after salmon berries? I don't remember anymore. Oh, that's right. We'll start stocking up on getting some fish for sashimi. Now, I know there's space for more sprinklers here. Right now, I choosing to use my resources, my bars and stuff for kegs instead of making more sprinklers as much as I would love to, but I can always expand those out a little bit later just because the amount of space that it takes isn't like a full sprinkler's worth. It would only be able to water like five to seven depending on the placement um, crops. It, it'll be worth it later, but not right now. Um, almost done with the tea. Now, I do believe that is every single full-grown untapped tree on the farm. We still have some like around that we could do, but um, I want to make sure that we get these bushes grown. So I'm going to be placing a fence and we're going to be doing it right here. I don't know exactly how many I need. I didn't count, but... One, right there, right? There's a couple of spots that they just won't grow. And I am going to build a gate 
and some fences and I'll probably make the fence look better than it's gonna be. And then I'll put a tree in the spots that it won't let me plant one eventually. Last batch of tea is ready, which is awesome. I can absolutely um, grow some more, but I just don't have the time to take care of that today. So what I'm going to do is sell the rest of this tea and see where that leaves me and see if I need to sell some tea saplings tomorrow. All right, it's off to bed. Oh, that was a day. Wasn't it yum yum? Yes, it was. Oh good, I did level up. I was gonna stress that I was gonna have to like go straight to the, the spa in the morning, but level eight, foraging, perfect, extra berry harvesting, ready for fall time. And how much money did that make though? That's that's the real question here. Oh, okay, so hoarding it helped quite a bit. We made seven thousand. The green teas are worth thirty-five gold each, so that was twenty one hundred that we made just today. Just turning those into green tea. So that was, I think that was a really good idea to do that. Okay, good, good, good. Normally these sell for 420. Um, So 105 isn't so bad. It's much better than what I was thinking it was going to be. <laughs> there we go. Okay, it is Sunday and it is the last day of the summer. Fantastic. So that means we have a lot of work ahead of us today and tomorrow. Weather for tomorrow's, yeah, sunny. It's always going to be sunny on the first day of a new season. Bats today. Okay, what's your recipe for today? Oh, sweet. I can make my own crusty bread now. Thanks. Check out the farm here. Last day farm. All right, let's see. Our melons are ready. Um, those are looking good. Got another tree or two that we can chop. These guys are ready. The tea is done. These melons are ready. And it's the last day for our coffee. Nothing on the beaches that I could see though. Um, so there are a couple of spots that those tea saplings won't fit. So um, and for some reason they just won't plant there. Um, so I'm going to have to put like a, a tree seed and hope that that grows and just let that be. Probably mahogany. I think that would look best. I have some extras. I could just pull a few out from there. But yeah, let's get this day done with or taken care of. It is also Friday, so we should be checking with Mabel. There isn't a whole lot of watering to do. <laughs> Wants to sell me the otter grabber for 2,500 gold. <laughs> nice try. Not for a while for me. Oh yes, we have the festival today too, which is why I can't really do like a whole lot of things today. Hop on this coffee. Let's get all this stuff taken care of. Hey kitty kitty. Now I can still get around here, just fine. And then we gotta build this pathing over here too. Actually, I think with this snail and this periwinkle, that's the last of each of those ones that we need. So we can probably move those back over to the ocean sometime soon, which I will do. I prefer the crab pot fish that you get from the ocean anyways. Harvest all of these melons, leave the wheat. Now, the only thing I need to water would be wheat or corn which is awesome did those yesterday so i only need to water this batch and they'll be ready tomorrow all right that's all the watering for the summer season and i've got to go see mabel and see if she has one more rare seed for me Spring onion for a thousand gold. Oh my gosh. Look at these prices. These are ridiculous today. 800 for slime, 800 for fiber. Ugh. Oh, okay. So she's got five rare seeds. So here's the deal with the rare, rare seeds. If you're playing normal, this is definitely a good investment. You can turn a thousand gold into 3000 gold easy. But the, the problem with this playthrough that I have right now is this costs a thousand gold. She doesn't sell it for any cheaper and if I was to sell it I tested it on a different farm if I was to sell it um I would only be getting 750 gold back 
So spending a thousand gold to get 750 back is not worth it to me. Just want to gather some hardwood. Now it's the last day of summer. This would be the good a good day to make sure you get all your fishing done. I have accepted the fact that I'm not going to get 100% of the fish caught this year. I think it's a bit more important for me to focus on getting a good source of income right now than fish. Because fish are, are not the best income for me right now. But the more hardwood we get, the better. So we can start getting some... Um, working on getting a stable. That would be nice. Oh, I need to get a barn. I think the reason why I don't need to push for getting a barn right now is because we ended up finding that truffle from Mabel. I won't complain about her prices too much because she came in with that truffle. I'm very excited for the fall time. That's my favorite season. Also because we get special orders. So we might be able to get some really good stuff with that. I'm hoping so anyways. Okay, so I just need to gather enough fiber for five to nine more. Now, I want money now, yes, but that is going to be an investment for my future. And I need to start thinking about it in that way, like future investment. So I'm going to go get a little bit of fiber going. Any more fiber, any more tea saplings than that, we'll just sell those because that'll be good money for tomorrow. Multitasking because a little bit of copper won't hurt anyone either. Especially since I'm pretty much out. Okay, the Dance of the Moonlight Jellies has begun. Should probably get going, I guess. I mean, I have a minute. We don't have to go to it immediately. Oh, but we probably should. I'm going to place these things real quick and then we'll just head right over. Ah! Run! Just barely. Talk to everybody. Hey, George. Uh, you're too old. Yeah. <laughs> Remember, it's seen the jellies once as a little girl. Oh, how I jumped with joy when they arrived. That was long ago. Now I'm all less energetic. You can still jump. You can look at. I like how happy her face always looks. And I miss my coffee. It's unknown why they're attracted to light. Very curious. Maybe they're part moth. Moth jelly? <laughs> Past my bedtime too, Mark. Hey, Maru. Kind of cold, actually. I guess follows. Yeah, it's literally tomorrow. We have Leah down here at the beach. Hey. Hey, my respects to another bygone summer. Okay. You do you. Up this way, we have me hiding here. Uh, I look just like one of the seaweeds. <laughs> uh, Razzmatazz. Hey, Razzy Raz. How did you find me back here? I thought I was well hidden. Perhaps you are blessed with the gift of clairvoyance. It's called Wikipedia. <laughs> here to observe the Lunaloos. Oh. See, that is a good trivia question. What? is the arcane name of the Midnight Jellies, Lunaloo. Lunaloo. Got Caroline over here. Romantic, ooh. Right in front of your husband. 
<laughs> we are not gonna buy anything. Because <laughs> I just... I need all my money for tomorrow. I wish I could. Man, the banners are so great. Don't tell guests, but I'm a little disappointed. There's no buffet. Oh. He's right here. <laughs> he was listening in the whole time. Look how depressed he looks. He's like, oh. Pam's upset with me. I'm just gonna stare off. <laughs> I wonder how they d don't. I would never try it, of course. Uh huh, uh huh. Just letting the. Oh, that sounds like a good life. No need to work hard. Hey, Vincent. You wanna see the rare green jelly? Let's stand right over there. You'll be fine. I wonder if they're poisonous. Uh. That doesn't sound healthy, Sam. Such a rare and exciting thing that happens every year. It's so rare. I thought I saw something moving in there. Something big, something dark. Just trying to scare you. Whatever. Whatever, Sebastian. Should have brought my camera. I always forget. Me. <laughs> you and me both, Haley. I forget everything. Here, uh, you want me to take a picture? Here, I'll take a picture for you. Here we go. I'm going to send that to you. Okay. We're going to send this picture right here to you. <laughs> XOXO. <laughs> She's going to hate me. Just leave it somewhere in her room. I can't believe summer's over. I feel like I just started. Yeah. The heavy load of people. Are you calling me fat Marnie? Rude. Oh no, she's talking about Shane. Uh, jellies were here a year ago and they'll be back again a year from now. It's amazing. I hope there are babies this year. Got Elliot fancy hair. We keep polluting the oceans. It's already in the process of happening. What a shame. Well, we gotta work on doing some cleanup. No, I wore my special shoes tonight and no one noticed. Uh, they look the same, honey. They look the same. I look out there at the endless sea. Deep underwater, all kinds of life forms are moving around in the dark. Yeah, it's a little creepy, honey. <laughs> you just saw something glowing. Oh, it's gone. Now, don't worry, it'll be back soon. Most night fish would be scared of the lights. These are strange ones. And then, Lewis. Good evening, Reuben. The moonlight jellies are close. I already saw one glowing in the distance. Wait, did I talk to Pierre? Probably not. No, I need to talk. Why is he so high friendship with me? Bleh. Pierre. Guess I'll talk to you. So stop by and swing for <laughs> all suits tomorrow. Yeah, I guess. If your chief is in town, I might as well, right? Da, 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 da. What do you think? Should I launch the boat now? Well, yes, you have my permission. Mayor. Only by name. <laughs> we all know it's really me. Okay, I guess you can go. It's fine. Moonlight jelly music is a great. Mm. I think the jellies are nice. Oh, look, Jazz, look! There's the baby ones! Oh, they came here just so you can see them. Just for you. Oh, look, they even gathered around her. They knew. Hey, Vincent, look over here. The green jelly chose me. Yeah. You can probably see, you probably can't see it through Sam's hair. Well, oh, poor Vincent. The glow of summer has faded now, and the moonlight jellies carry on toward the great unknown. Oh, that was great. And I got home just in time. Uh, uh. Um, let's go ahead and uh, craft the rest of these. Tea saplings. Eleven. That's all the fiber I got. I guess I should have saved some fiber for some scarecrows. <laughs> That's a problem for tomorrow. Oops. 
I have just enough time to finish up this fence area. And I think that's a, that's pretty good fence. Yeah. Then once I, I clear out some hay, we'll build a, a path up this way. Now I have all of these extra summer seeds. I could totally um keep them for making more tea saplings later. But I think because they are still pretty good money makers and fall time's coming up. I can sell some of these for a good amount of money. I mean, they won't be worth as much, but they'll still be worth more than selling the produce. Um, let's sell all but 50 of them. It's going to be a very full day tomorrow. Oh my gosh, Jelly, we'll sell those in the morning <laughs> when I get money for uh, seeds and things. Off to bed for me. Yeah, that last little bit helped push us over to where I think I need to be for the seeds that I need. Goodbye, Summer! And another season has passed us by on the sandwich farm. Fall time is upon us and I am so ready for it. All right, friends, I'm Wickedy. Thank you so much for hanging out in the valley with me and I'll see you next time.